Is aloe toxic to cats? Scientifically known as aloe vera, aloes are common household plants with many medicinal benefits to humans. However, this low-maintenance plant is toxic for cats and other domesticated animals. The aloe plant contains toxic substances such as anthracene, glycosides, and anthraquinones which may cause mild poisoning symptoms like vomiting and diarrhea. Hello, my name is Claire Chesterman, the proud owner of Plants and Cats. Calm, the ultimate online resource for cat lovers and plant enthusiasts alike. Our comprehensive database includes a vast array of plants, each with detailed information on whether they are toxic to cats or not. We make it easy to search and find the information you need with our user-friendly smart search feature. Be sure to check out the link in the description to explore our extensive plant database further. Now, let's dive into the world of aloe. Clinical Signs of Adam and Eve Plant Poisoning in Cats While aloe vera is mostly beneficial to people, it is poisonous for cats because it contains anthracene, glycosides, and anthraquinones which are known to be saponins. These saponins increase the amounts of mucus and water in a cat's colon which will cause abdominal cramping. Change in urine color usually becomes red. Abdominal cramps. Vomiting. Diarrhea. Loss of appetite. Lack of energy. In rare cases, tremors. First aid and treatment of aloe poisoning in cats. The symptoms of aloe poisoning in cats may be mild but it is advisable to seek medical assistance from a veterinarian. Any residue of the plant must be removed from your cat's system, so the vet may induce your cat to vomit. After your cat has gotten rid of any plant matter in his stomach, he may be given activated charcoal to help neutralize any lingering toxins in his digestive tract. They will safely pass through your cat's intestines once they have been neutralized. Recovery from aloe poisoning in cats Your cat should recover fully as long as he receives prompt veterinary treatment. If he suffers organ damage, his treatment will be more difficult and will take more time. Give your cat a quiet space to rest and recover once he returns home from treatment. Prevention of Aloe Poisoning in Cats If you have aloe plant at home, make sure to place it somewhere in your house that your cat cannot access. It is even better if you could get rid of the plant and totally avoid having one at your home. Be aware if there are aloes in your neighborhood as well. Ensure safety of your cats indoors and outdoors. I hope this guide was a big help to you. If so, please like this video as it's extremely help promoting our useful videos for cat owners. Check out our website Plants and Cats. Calm for our comprehensive database includes a vast array of plants, each with detailed information on whether they are toxic to cats or not. Link in the description. Thanks for watching.